Hey, good morning, guys. It's me, Coach Rosa. Good morning. Uh, we only have a few minutes, but I had a really great live session yesterday in my Facebook group for, it's a closed group that I have for my members of my virtual weight loss program. And I was talking about uh, the stories we tell each ourselves, the, the tapes we play in our own brain, and and what happens when you tell yourself a story and what are different stories and what it made me think of was a fun, a fun little Facebook live that I could share with you hey Tom nice to see you <laughs> nice to see you buddy uh, thanks for joining and so the stories that we tell ourselves that they, they do some damage in our brains but they can also do some make a help us make a lot of progress good morning Doug good to see you and so what I thought I'd talk about just briefly this morning is a term we use in hypnosis, which is, you, you never know how far a change will go. And it's one of those really cool um, thoughts that you have, and then it leads to something else, which leads to something else, which leads to something else. So one never knows how far a change will go, except are you making that little change? And um, a lot of times the stories we tell ourselves stop us from making a change. And so this is the time of year people go to the gym, they work out, um, or they want to go to the gym and they don't go to the gym because they think, I'm going to look silly, I don't want to make a fool of myself. Um, and that little story becomes real in their brain and then they, <clears throat> they don't take that next step, they never step into the gym. So let's say this little change, how far will one little change go? Let's say the little change is you're going to step into that gym and you're going to try something, something that looks like fun to you. And I happen to be a fan of group fitness. I'm social, even for people that aren't social, there's a lot of energy, there's synergy, there's, there's um, the instructors put a lot of time and effort. Good morning, good morning, Jeffrey. Thanks for joining us uh, into making it an experience. So the first time that I stepped into like a turbo kick class, I was a little intimidated because it was beyond my capability. I needed my inhaler throughout the class. <laughs> I didn't have the capacity to do this um, at the level that the instructor would, but a good instructor should be advanced and should be way beyond their students. And so I didn't know that back then. I was thinking, you go in and you go in at the top of your game not a good story to tell yourself so that little change you step in you stay in the back row you kind of are out of everyone's way and hey Kevin good morning and then little by little good morning Hollis good to see you um, you actually you fumble through but you know one thing that I learned and I love that Danny Mafia says and I'm gonna have to tag him in this post is that mistakes burn calories and so you think, wow, I might have made a mistake, but nobody's really watching because everyone else is making the same mistakes. Other people are doing the same thing. Now that little change, I show up again the next time. And maybe this time I smile at someone. They smile back. They feel just as uncomfortable as I do. We're both making fools of ourselves. And, but we're, we're building up our lung capacity. Like I don't need my inhaler now three times during a workout. Maybe I only need it once during a workout. Um, and then I think, you know, that was fun and I felt better when I was finished. Maybe I'll invite someone to come with me and then we could do this together. We can experience it together. And they come with me, which makes it a little more fun. Now you have an accountability buddy and now you go more and you actually become more proficient. I can tell you for myself with my asthma, I only use my asthma my inhaler now before a workout. If I need it during a workout, I'll use it, and it is always on me, always, um, in the gym. But I really don't need it anymore. And it, just one beforehand, I take a couple shots, and I'm good to go. And that is a major, major improvement, major. Um, what's really cool is when you wear those heart rate monitors, and you can see how more effort, which how much more effort it takes to get your heart rate into fat burning mode where when you start your heart rate spikes so fast but then when you get it conditioned and you're doing it more and more it doesn't take long a couple weeks later your heart rate is doesn't go up as fast as it used to because it's conditioned and you have to put some effort into spiking it a little bit it's really a cool observation 
you never know how far a change will go. And I will tell you, I remember those people in the gym that came in and they would stand you know, next to you and we would feel like, mm, I don't know what this is gonna be like. And I could think of a, a few of them that are now instructors. They came back, they did more, they liked it, they started taking more of an interest in it, and then they decided to t step even further out of their comfort zone and become instructors. And then they decided to teach us, which is so cool. And even, I'll, I'll refer to Danny as a great example, he became instructor of the year in Rochester. Numerous times has been nominated that and won. There's quite a few examples of people I've seen like that. And this isn't just in the gym, guys. This is in the world. This is in your life. You make one little change and do it over and over. Be consistent. One never knows how far a change will actually go. And I would love to see you make some of those changes. So I hope, I'm so glad you watched my video. Thank you for joining me. It's short, it's sweet. That's how I try to do them so you can get a little bit of information, but it'll get you moving into gear and something will change. You'll do something. Please like my video, um, share it. I love when you guys share it. It's nice to get the word out there and um, drop me a comment. Let me know what changes you're making. Let me know where you've seen it, examples of it. And if you want any more of this type of material, uh, please like my page, Mind Over Platter. I've got a whole cool virtual program that I dig a lot deeper in with my members. And uh, that was a major change. Little changes, little steps, but it's adding up and I'm stepping out of my comfort zone too, guys. So I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Make it an awesome day and make that little change.